Thank you, Emma. Really looking forward to this game and still on a high after what we saw in the first game this afternoon. What a game it was with victory going to the Gold Coast Titans over a very brave Newcastle Knights. But right now, a spot in the finals go on the line and the minor premiership up for grabs as the Eels preparing to do battle with the Brisbane Broncos and Samaya Taufa we just saw on screen has been outstanding as has Tainan Navidi. Very good winger for the Parramatta Eels. They have been outstanding throughout the season. And the Brisbane Broncos about to make their way out on the Suncorp Stadium for a home game. Led out by Ali Brigginshaw. And right behind Ali Brigginshaw is Millie Boyle, who returns this week. Missed the game last week against the Gold Coast Titans. The premier front rower in the NRLW. Might be having a smile on her face now, but she won't be smiling when she's making tackles and some of those great hit-ups that we're used to seeing from her. Taryn Aiken is a focal point of the Broncos' attack, and there's their wonderful leader in Ali Brigginshaw. Joining me in commentary for this game will be Rowan Sims, and Jonathan Thurston is here. Hello, JT. G'day, Soldy. How are you, mate? I'm doing well. Big afternoon of rugby league. We've already witnessed a sensational game, and this should be a beauty as well. Yeah, it certainly will be. Destiny is in their own hands for the Parramatta Eels, so it's going to be a cracking game. Chelsea Lenarduzzi with the first hit up. We are underway. The second NRLW game of the afternoon, second of three rugby league games. And I hope you enjoyed that first game. And this game will be a beauty as well. Here's Amber Hall with an offload as well. And Lauren Brown was tackled there by Samima Taufa. That was a good one-on-one -on -one hit from Taufa. Look out for her this afternoon. Here's Millie Boyle. Ali Johnson gets her along with Hanisi, Philomena Hanisi. Now Chelsea Lenarduzzi. She'll love having... Slow getting to her feet here. I was going to say she'll love having Millie Boyle back in the lineup. That Broncos one-two punch and their two front rowers. On the halfway line here, Brisbane. Aiken to the kick downfield. Bo Vetti Welsh, the Parramatta number one. There's no Tamika up in for Brisbane this afternoon. Hayley Maddock is playing fullback for the Brisbane Broncos. And still is a good. Oh, there's a one on one strip. She stripped it there, Chelsea Lenarduzzi. That's outstanding work from the Broncos forward. And not for the first time this season has she come up with a play like that. Here's Millie Boyle. Great field position for the Broncos to attack here. Look for Ali Brigginshaw to construct something here for the Broncos. That was a great play from Chelsea Lenarduzzi. Good run here from Amber Hall. 25 away. Lenarduzzi. 20 metres away from the line. Brown. Now, Hayley Maddock, look out. She's got wheels, gets it past her. Aziza Mosby back towards the centre of the ground. Good defence from the Eels. Samaya Mattel for there. Ellie Johnston there as well. Emily Curtin was the third player in that tackle. Aiken. Brown puts in a kick. It's a beauty into the goal area. Getting onto it is Penitani. Thought about a pass. Came up with a safer option, took the tackle, a dropout coming. I don't think she really thought about the pass. I think she was foxy. She was moving pretty quick. <laughs> that was a great kick by Lauren Brown. The, the beauty of the Broncos outfit is their spine. They have so many different options. It's not just the oh, one or two done. people kicking. They can kick from anywhere on the field. And Lauren Brown has really showed her hand at that this year. I think she's been outstanding for them in the middle. Here's the dropout. Allowed to bounce. It's a good bounce, though, for Chelsea Lenarduzzi. Getting through some work early. Broncos are setting a lot of traffic down that left edge. Obviously trying to get at the halves, tire them out, so they've got less to give in attack when they get the ball. 
15 away from the line. Lauren Brown, the form number nine in the competition. Taryn Aiken has hit a Caitlin Phillips. And Phillips has brought down nine away from the line. Lavinia Gould goes to dummy half. Now Brown, Brigginshaw, Amber Hall, Sinesa Sulker, out wide they go, and in and a corner, the Brisbane Broncos through Emily Bass. They open the scoring. They certainly do on that right edge, and the attention to detail with their passing is outstanding all out in front, as we will see on the Harvey Norman replay. Comes out to the right-hand side. Ali Brigginshaw out to the back rower. Look at this nice, soft hands into the winger, into the corner. So a great try from the Broncos to open the scoring. Everyone hit their assignment there, didn't they, JT? Everyone knew which line they needed to run. Everyone knew the passes had to be out in front so that they could continue running at pace. They were sending traffic at Curtin and Studden on the edges to try and draw them in. And then that was a lovely finish. Lauren Brown linking through the middle with that lovely floating pass over the top just helped beat four or five defenders and got the ball out nice and quickly to that edge. Don't underestimate the catch and pass here from the centre. There it is right there, out in front for the winger as well. So the attention to detail, like I said, great work from the Broncos on the right edge and it looks like they'll continue to attack down there. From out wide, Lauren Brown waved away, no goal. Brisbane leading four points to nil. The Eels kick off. It's a good take over there. What a take. <laughs> so casual as well. Over the head. Here's Amber Hall. Let's have a look at this take. Ellie Brigginshaw, thank you very much. Into the cool sun as well. Well, they look up for it today, the Broncos. In search of the minor premiership. Currently the Dragons sitting in first place. Lavinia Gould goes to dummy half. Here's Taryn Aiken. Now, yeah, Hajija Mosby, look out, she can motor. Hajija Mosby, inside pass is an absolute beauty to Amy Turner. And Turner scores Brisbane's second try. Oh, Hajija Mosby, she has scored a try in each of her last three games. And this one, we don't normally see much of a passing game from her, but we've got to watch this on the Harvey Norman replay. She scoots down that left edge. It's a lovely shift from mid ball here. Gets out wide. The pass from Turner to Mosby is fantastic. Mosby shows good wheels, but then shows really good composure to come up with a beautifully balanced pass back on the inside to Turner, who actually set her up to make that line break. It's great vision by Taryn Aiken there, who gets across. Ellie Johnson is caught out of position in the centre. She, now she's playing in the back row on the right hand side for the Parramatta Eels, and Taryn Aiken takes care of that. And again, Mosby. The pass on the inside, a great constructed try from the Broncos down the left side. They've got a tack on both sides of the ruck. This is pretty to watch. And gee, to Mosby, for one, we've been impressed with her since she made her debut. Got an experienced campaigner in the try score, Amy Turner, on her inside. An Olympic gold medal winner is Amy Turner, but gee, to Mosby, outstanding. Oh, she is. She has been such a great talent. I can't believe they've unearthed her so late. She is fabulous. Lauren Brown is going to try and kick this one over. And it's successful.
Great shots of Suncorp Stadium on this Sunday afternoon. And Hajija Mosby is the niece of former Cowboys player Gideon Gillam Mosby, who I played with uh, a long time ago. So the speed runs in the genes. It certainly does. This is Hajija Mosby. Here's Amber Hall. You know, you touched on this, JT, and, and I mentioned it as well, but definitely attacking down that left edge defence of the Eels, aren't they? They're really trying to single out that, that edge to attack. Yeah, well, Matty Studden is the defender on the three man, three uh, person in on that left-hand side who is the halfback and the orchestrator for the Parramatta Eels. So they're really getting at her with Amber Hall in the back row for the Broncos to try and tie her out. Caitlin Phillips for Brisbane. Here's Ali Brigginshaw. Puts it high. Sasolka chasing it. Taken though at the back by Rakaia Horn. And that's the type of set that you want after points. What about that kick from Ali Brigginshaw in that 20 metre box there in the corner? When you watch him start to tee off defensively as well too, JT. Just tighten up through the middle, hold the eels down, force them to kick out of their own, out of their own half. Three games for you this afternoon. Don't forget, after our two NRLW games, we've got the rivalry continuing with the Brisbane Broncos taking on the North Queensland Cowboys. It'll be a great contest. Both teams full of confidence after last start victories. Emily Curtin with a kick this time. And it's between. Oh, hang on, that let it bounce. And Amy Turner's going to pick it up for Brisbane. Well, fortunate there that everyone overran that bounce. Whose words were ringing in our ears then when we saw that bounce? Oh, that was wicked. Afternoon, Gus. You'll be watching. Can't repeat his line again. I've already used it this afternoon. <laughs> But we do credit him every time we use it. Kennedy, Have a look at this. Allowing the ball to bounce. Oh. Yours and yours were the calls then, I think. Yeah, this is what the Broncos started to miss last week. Millie Boyle's punched through the middle. The Dutes are playing off the back. And this is the speed of the play the ball they get. Again, down that edge, attacking that left edge of the Eels. Sasolka playing it. Ball. Kick there from Brigginshaw. Oh, well, that is a sensational take from Bo Vetti Wells. So here's all the equations for this afternoon. If the Brisbane win by, if Broncos win by one to 20, they'll finish second. Penalty here for the Eels. If Brisbane lose by 18 or more, they'll drop to third. If the Eels lose by 15 or more, they will miss the finals. But if the Eels win by 2 to 18, they'll finish third. And if they win by 18 plus, they'll finish second. There is Everyone a lot, confused? That's a lot happening. <laughs> there is a lot riding on this game. But the other one, too, is if Brisbane win by 21 or more, the then minor they're minor premiers. There's a lot of ones and twos in there. A few permutations here. We'll keep you up to date with it all. I guess the one that counts is the Roosters are looking for the six, the 15 or more. Yes. For the, for the Broncos to win. Oh, well, hang on, there's Tiana. a pass to Tiana Penitani, and they're going to wrap her up. Emily Bass did very well down low. Maddie Studden now. The Eels. What can they produce? Curtin. Ellie Johnston! Yes! What a try! Parramatta hit back! Ellie Johnston! Outstanding work from the Parramatta Eels. It was a great break down the left-hand side, which was created by Nita Maynard. We put Penitani away, and then Matty Studden gets the... Oh, here it is on the Harvey Norman replay. Matty Studden gets the ball in her hands, drifts across field, and here it comes to Ellie Johnson. Like I said, playing in the back row today. She had 30 to get to the try line there, and she does it with ease. 
Parramatta Eels hit back. Geez, they needed that, Brew. They sure did. On the Harvey Norman replay, we can see Ellie just putting the head down and going for that try line. It was a beautiful shift, again, off the back of that lovely break by Penatani down the left edge. When you make a break down one edge, invariably the defence has to push in and try and hold that middle and fill the gap. So the space is going to be on the opposite side. The way they were able to shift that ball so cleanly, engage defensive lines, that was beautiful by the Parramatta Eels. Ellie Johnson with the try. And that's what you want when you make a break, Rue. You want your halves to step up and get the ball. Yep. They're the ones that are the brains behind the team and they can see the vision and where the spaces are. And that's exactly what they did. They score in the right hand corner here. And now Matty Studden has an opportunity to get it back to within oh, four points. Well, that was an important try for the Eels. Basically, their first venture down that end of the field. They come up with points. And here's Matty Studden, 10 in from touch. Has been striking them beautifully. What will she do here with her first kick of the afternoon? It's a good one. Oh, it just drifts across the face. No goal. Ellie Johnston with the try. Well done to her. Good young player. She got a starting, starting shot this week. She's been coming off the benches. There's a penalty here. Chelsea, high tackle. Lena Doozy, high tackle on Kennedy Cherrington, I believe it is. You know, she deserves this shot. She's been coming off the bench and she's been running really hard lines. She's been making some great shots in defence. We're just watching a replay of that high contact. I think there's no argument there. Chance for the Eels to start this set of six just short of the halfway line. Here's Ellie Johnson. There was a talk that she was going to end up at the Dragons, but chose the Eels. Kennedy Cherrington playing it. Now it's with Emily Curtin. Here's Ellie Johnston. Trying to wind up again. Good tackle from Mosby and Turner in there for the Broncos. Maynard goes to dummy half. Curtin drifting. Eventually gives a short pass away. Well read though by the Broncos defence. Maima Taufer plays it. Here goes Matty Studden. Now that's a knock on Brisbane, I think you'll find. No, they've missed it. Officials missed that. I'm sure there was a knock on there from Sinead Sulka. I think Bo Bette Welsh is down in back play there for the Eels. This is huge for the Eels. Wait! Wait! No, wait. She hasn't moved. You can just see her on the edge of your screen. Keep an eye on her as play will continue here through Amber Hall. Lauren Brown. Now here's Ali Brigginshaw. Kicking over the top. Emily Curtin has got it covered here for the Eels. Only just... Not a bad play there from Ali Brigginshaw. Obviously, she can see that Pressure. Beto Walsh. Is that play still down in the back? Still hurt back on the 30 metre line, so tried to catch the Eels out. The oh. Eels are relieved with the penalty yeah. here. They're testing that knee. Oh, the knee. No contact. Oh. This is devastating for Bo and for the Eels. She is a huge linchpin in their game. Yeah, a lot of concern here for Bo Betty Wells. Oh, and they're calling for the stretcher. Uh, yeah, this is some good news. You don't want to see injuries to anyone, but this is a, a big concern here for Bo Betty Wells. And as you said, it's got ramifications for Rep Footy and the Eels moving forward as well. 10 4, the Broncos in front of the Eels.
Well, one of the excitement machines of the NRLW, Bo Vetsy Wells, coming from the field. This is where the injury happened. He just charred there. And then you can see the anguish on her face straight away. She knew what had happened very quickly as She's Bo Vetsy Wells. She's being helped off the field here, and that is such a shame. She has been outstanding. Been one of the front runners in this competition. I feel really, oh, I really feel for her. I hope that she's all right. And just watching that replay as well, saw a little bit of a knock on there by the Bronx, and yes. it was allowed to play on. JT, we were talking about that in the break. We sure were. They got away with one there, the Broncos. The officials missed the knock on, so the Parramatta Eels should have been attacking the Broncos line, mm. but they get a penalty here just inside their 20, so. See what they come up with with this set of six. We saw a shot there too of a boat enjoying the Brisbane River on this Sunday afternoon. It's good that there is uh, watercraft back out on the river. It's a day for it, isn't it, Salty? Mm. I'm thinking of all those in recovery mode after the recent floods right across the country, in fact. There's some strong Broncos defence. On Hanisi, who's driven back. You don't often see that Philomena Hanisi driven back. Yeah. Into Brisbane Territory go the Broncos through Samaima Taufa. Nita Maynard goes to Matty Studden. Puts it high. Watch the bounce again here. Well, fortunately there for Brisbane, it's ended up with Hayley Maddy. Oh, I Christian. Know, a penalty Flop. here. Flop over the top there by the Eels. So with that injury to Vete Welsh, they've had a bit of a reshuffle. Penatani goes to fullback. Pior will go to left centre. And Kennedy Cherrington will move to left second row. I like that move of Penatani on the fullback. It means she can roam both sides of the field. The better, the more she has the ball in her hands, the better the Parramatta Eels will be. Tiana Benatani, really good footballer. Too short of halfway here, Brisbane. Leading by six, Lauren Brown goes for a run, gets a pass away. And once again, it was well read there by the Eels defence. Sarah Satia, who's on the field for Brisbane. Oh, shot. Runs. Emily Curtin. What a shot from the Eels 5-8 on Caitlin Phillips. Now yeah, Amber Hall sets up Sinead Sasolka. Room to move for Sasolka. Drops it out the back. Play on here for Amber Hall. Gives a pass to Emily Bass. Back inside. It's off a kneel. Play on here. And Sasolka will score. Beautiful work from Brisbane. Brisbane. Got fortunate there. With the ricochet off the Parramatta player, but Sinead Sasolka with a Broncos four-pointer. Well, it got a little bit messy towards the back end of that set of six, but the Broncos coming up with the points here. This is that shot that we saw. Curtin on the big second rower on the Harvey Norman replay, and she loved it too. She dominated that tackle. But here, this lovely right-hand shift, again, attacking this left-edge defence, knowing that there's going to be a little bit of miscommunication out there because they've had... Some personnel changes, but Amber Hall stays alive, keeps the ball going. Emily Baskets absolutely smashed for her efforts, but Shanae Shazolka, she just stayed alive, played the ball, scored the four-pointer. Look at this tackle. Cleaned her right up. Came off an Eels player. If anyone's watching at home, that's why it was able to be play on. Shanae Shazolka with the try. Strike on both sides of the fields. The Brisbane Broncos. And here's Brown with the attempted conversion. It's successful.
Shanae Sissolka with the try for Brisbane. And they're leading by 12 now, the Broncos. Nearly Boyle on the charge. Goes Amber Hall again, terrorising them. Amber Hall, good strong run, nearly up to the halfway line here on tackle to Brisbane. Ali Brigginshaw gets a pass away. Oh, there's a mistake and a penalty inside the ten. The Eels. Not quick on There's a late call there by Casey Badger. No, 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 it must no, have come no. from one of her touch judges. The Broncos stay on this up-tempo push that they've got going on. There's been another change on that left edge. Sere Naitakotoka has come on and it looks like though she's playing left centre. Played nearly every position for the Eels as Sere Naitakotoka. Lavinia Gould goes to Ali Brigginshaw, who in turn finds Amber Hall on the charge again. 15 metres away. Round the dummy half. Brigginshaw. Aiken. Here's Haley Maddock with some room to move. Look out as he jumps me. Forced back. <laughs> Held on to the football. Just. Amy Turner to dummy half. Taryn Aiken throwing dummies. Not fallen for by the Eels defence. Signs one of the defenders there. Brown goes to Brigginshaw. Juggle there by Boyle. Back to Lavinia Gould. Here's Brown. Taryn Aiken. Quick hands it is for Brisbane. South here for the line. She's going to be stopped. Abby Church in there, along with Emily Curtin for Parramatta. Now Brown, last tackle. Goes to Aiken. Now Brigginshaw puts a kick across field for Emily Bass, but Rakaia Horn. Great take. Take it in the air. Penalty Parramatta. Outstanding take by the winger. Just releases all the pressure for her team and they get a penalty off the back of that. Great defense from the Parramatta Eels on both sides of the field. That was a good effort to take the ball in the air like that under some serious scrutiny from Emily Bass. Christian Pio forced back in that tackle. Oh, matter, I've got to try to weather the storm here. And the Broncos looking for some punishing defence. You know who, Millie Boyle in there. Samaya Taufa passing this time. And that is a good run from Tamaya Kelly Sines. Great short ball. Still going. That's good charge there from the Eels number four. Samaya Taufa. Through the middle, Lily Boy looking for a one-on-one -on -one steal. I think she, oh, she nearly had it. Curtin puts it high. Haley Maddock underneath it does well. A good Parramatta chase. Tana Navidi making the tackle. Along with Abby Church. Really good chase. The Eels defensive line is set up, ready to go. I don't want to try and pin Broncos down here. Millie Boyle looks like she's coming off to have a spell, as is Amber Hall. So some fresh legs out there for the Broncos. Another penalty for the Broncos. Paramount Eels, they kicked on tackle four there. They've only had 27% possession of the ball. When you've got to tackle so much, you don't have much of the ball, you want to run your set of six out. You want to try and get the Broncos to tackle as much as possible when you don't have much of the ball. So they're defending again, the Parramatta Eels. On the halfway line now, Brisbane. Good run there from Caitlin Phillips, putting him on the front foot. Now Roxy Murdoch. With an offload as well, Maddock quickly to Brown. Brisbane love attacking in this sort of situation. That's their bread and butter salt. See, this broken play is where they're at their very best, the Broncos. South here playing at the Brown is Brigginshaw. So Salka with some room to move. Don't want to give her too much room. Tackle there by Sede Naitakatoka. Brisbane on the front foot. Here's Brown on the charge. 
double take there, and yes, it is the number nine. It's Alicia Harden goes to dummy half. Now Taryn Aiken puts in a kick. And Novidi's got it for the Eels and gets in the field of play. That's an outstanding play there from uh, Taylor Novidi. It was a great play by Novidi. It was equally a beautiful kick there too from the Broncos. Now the Eels, they're trying to get themselves out of trouble, but the Broncos are just standing up to them. Roxy now! You want to watch this on replay. Aiken, who has been, oh, the inform. Look at her, she just slits it right through the legs there. And it was a great get out by Novidi. Ali Johnson passing this time. Now they're 10 short of halfway on the last here. Nisi playing it. Maddie Studden kicks downfield. Ailey Maddock does well. Again, a good Eels chase led by the kicker herself in Maddie Studden. Christian Pio there as well. The Broncos are certainly winning the field possession battle. Through inside 10 minutes before half time, so Paramount Eels, they need to hang in here defensively. Try and feel some pressure on the Broncos. Oh, there's Bo Betty Welsh. So she's on, on the sideline with some ice on that knee, so hopefully Emma Lawrence might be able to give us a bit of an update. And there's another penalty here against the Eels. And it was late in the tackle count as well, too. Rue, yep. they're going to tap it and go here through Brown, who's found some Eels players with a dax turn. They're getting tired, Parramatta. Brisbane on the front foot. Lavinia Gould goes to dummy half. Brown will get up and play. This will be another penalty. Oh, be careful. What? Got to fix it up here. She's yep. built that. So they tap it and go. Brown goes to... Goulds. Gould tries to spin away from the tackle, but Christian Pio makes it. Now Brown. Brigham Shaw short to Talisha Harden, and they'll force it back. That's a good tackle. Maddie Studden, one of the defenders in there for Parramatta. Short ball. Oh, wow. What a tackle. Great shot. Two metres away from the line. Now Brown, just two minds there, and Pio makes the tackle. Brigham Shaw to dummy half. On the bounce, Hayley Maddock has it. Now Caitlin Phillips, Ellie Johnston makes the tackle. And they force her back. No more Ellie, last. With the fence so far in this set, it's the last tackle. Lavinia Goulds. Murdoch, ground now, puts it high. Once the chase is coming through, Rakea Horn takes it well. Then gets the ground, stays in the field of play. Great defense by the Parramatta Eels. They're certainly on the back foot here. Some good ball movement from the Broncos. Parramatta Eels need to get to their kick here, turn the Broncos around. Christian Peel, how about those two defensive efforts right on the try line as the Broncos drive the Eels back? But she is such a talent and she has really turned up for the Eels this afternoon. Go three. Lavinia, go ten. Rakea Horn just defused a few right, tricky situations right, yeah. off her kick on the other side of the field. Here's a good run from Maynard, almost splits them. A good tackle from Goulds. Now Curtin with the kick. Off the legs there of Maddock, look out, she's going to get it back. Could have gone anywhere. There's a player down in back play here for the Broncos. The trainer is calling for the referee to stop the game, but she can't hear her. I think it's Caitlin Phillips with an HIA. This is great defence here by the Eels. It is Caitlin Phillips receiving treatment. Brisbane on the halfway line. And they will stop play here. The trainer has called for play to stop. You can watch this on replay. It was just the way she got hit. Oh, oh go. head on the ground. Back of the head on the ground. Yeah. Crunch. Some heavy contact. Got the full force of Kennedy Cherrington front on and then the full force of the Suncorp Stadium turf when she hit the ground there, Caitlin Phillips, who has Rue had a very good first half. She certainly has. I think I've been really impressed with her 
over the last few games. She's developed beautifully here at the Broncos. They've been so much so that she's actually become the starting second rower on that left edge. And she's so athletic. She's a New South Wales country girl. I like the style of football that she brings with that athleticism. And hopefully she'll be all right. She'll have the halftime break as well to uh, add towards that 15 minutes. So fingers crossed she'll be able to return to play. Amber Hall coming back onto the field. So just a quick break for her in the ends. As you mentioned, just over six minutes left in the half. Brisbane with a penalty. As they take the tap here and go to Murdoch. Oxy Murdoch is going to be forced back. Good Parramatta defence. Oh, but then they go in there again. There's a little bit of push and shove in the middle here. Everyone's coming in. Plenty of feeling. Ill discipline though, costing Parramatta here. Oh, it really is. It's starting to hurt them, the Eels, and it's going to take a lot out of the tank because they're having to do more and more defence off the back of it. But Murdoch, in particular, as a bench player, she has been fantastic. And yeah, she didn't like what happened in the tackle. Important period of the game here for the Eels. They won't want to concede any more points in the last five minutes of the half. Here goes Amber Hall. Good tackle. Kennedy Cherrington in there for the Eels. All will get up and play it. There is some feeling in this game. All didn't like a few things that went on in that tackle. Now Roxy Murdoch. She stopped in a track. Samima Taufa, one of the defenders there, along with Paulie in there as well. Now Aiken, dummy to the inside to Gould. Took the line on herself, was wrapped up there. Now Lungy with the tackle. Brigginshaw. It's a pass away. And they're seven metres away from the line here, Brisbane. What? Getting up and playing it is South here. Been strong off the bench. Aiken puts in a kick into the in goal area. Navidi's got it. Can she get back in the field of play? She's trying hard, but she'll be stopped by Haziza Mosby. Clock is on. And a dropout coming. I think that's the second time Aiken has put in a beautiful kick down that edge. And the chase has been up to it as well. We've seen two set restarts. Look at this kick from Aiken. There's a reason why she's the premier number six in the game. And it's these kinds of touches that she has. She leads the defensive line as well. Good scramble there. Pinning the eels in their own in goal. So they're going to have to do a, a uh, goal line dropout here. Big defensive set for the eels ahead. On the bounce. And Brisbane have it. And they're going to be on the 20 on tackle one, or pretty much close to it anyway. South here playing it. Here's Murdoch. Really Malungi, good contact in there on Roxy Murdoch. Taryn Aiken. Now Haley Maddock. Here's Amy Turner, but it's ended up in the hands here of the Eels, but it was touched. So they'll come back. It'll be a scrum feed here for the Broncos. Oh, at least they stopped it before she streaked 80 metres and scored the try. That would take a fair bit out of the tank. Novindi, she's got some wheels. She can make it too. But here we go. Broncos ball, midfield scrum. This is so hard to defend when you're this close to the line, the midfield scrum. But they've got a lot of strike power. And Ali Brigginshaw has drifted over to the left and is in deep in conversation with Taryn Aiken. Brewing something on this left edge, aren't they? Get your head in. Broncos Cowboys later this afternoon. We can't wait for that one. Here goes Ellie Brigginshaw. Now Taryn Aiken. Taryn Aiken for the line. Can she roll over the ball? Spills out. No try. They're going to check it, though. But okay, it looked as though, it. as she was about to get the ball on the ground, it Tackle one. popped out. No try. Can you confirm that there's no grounding, that Parramatta have stripped the ball and then grounded it in goals? Abby Church has come up with a huge try saver. Casey Badger has asked to refer this upstairs because they want to have a closer look at it. But I'm with you, Saltzio. I think as she were rolled over to put the ball down, it's been stripped free, which you're allowed to do yes. when you're in going in the motion of scoring a try. She rolls over here. Abby Church, initial contact, well done. strips it out. Well done. Her and Naivindi, beautiful work. So it will be a dropout here, will it? Because it was stripped out by an Eels player. Played out by the Eels. And then forced in goal by a Parramatta player. That's what they're looking for. 
in the act of scoring a try, Emily Curtin steals the ball. The ball is live at this stage. And the ball is grounded in the end goal by the Eels. We have a decision. So grounded in goal, and it'll be a dropout coming. It'll be a, it'll be a dropout. You guys stripped it. No, nah, you guys stripped it. Tell me, Salty, was I wrong or was the bunker wrong? Because was it Abbey Church that stripped it? Abbey Church Drop was out. the player yes, in there in jersey number 15. Phew. Yep. Thought I was seeing things. Mind you, one and five is six. So coming up later this afternoon, we've got Broncos right, and Cowboys go, in the NRL. And then tomorrow night, yeah, must see viewing on a Monday night, 100% footy. James Bracey, right, Phil go, Gould, Emily. Paul Gallon. Now at 10.30 tomorrow night. Coming up straight after this game, we've got Broncos v Cowboys. Here's Millie Boyle on the charge. Two minutes left in the first half. Brisbane searching for more points. Important set defensively here for Parramatta. Ali Brigginshaw goes to Amber Hall on the charge. And they stop her a couple of metres away from the line. Big moment of the game coming up. Millie Boyle for the line. They stop her. How did they stop Millie Boyle from there? I'll tell you how. Samaya Taupa. Now Amber Hall gets a pass away. They must score. Tanisa Salka, they won't score because Hall puts it down. Take a bow. Parramatta defence. Well, I thought in the scrum. previous game we saw some great goal line defence from the, the Knights, but the scramble oh, here from the Eels has been epic. They've been under huge amounts of pressure. Rakea Horn has come up with some big takes of the ball under serious defensive pressure, but this goal line defence, this has been epic. They hold back Millie Boyle. We're close to the line. It is almost impossible to stop her. Then do the same thing with Amber Hall. Then they shut Sazolka down when she comes back against the grain as well, and then they force an error. What great work by the Eels. They'll take a lot of that going into halftime. They certainly will. Break! As we're into the last 30 seconds of the Dead half. Amy, Amy Turner Amy. that time with a tackle. What about some of the defence this afternoon? It's been outstanding. We've got 20 seconds left in the half. Seems like a strange comment, but they'll take. Trailing by 12 at the moment, Parramatta. Here's Ali Johnston. They've soaked up a mountain of pressure in the last little bit. Well, when you look at the possession stats, absolutely. Broncos have had 73% possession as the whistle is blown here by Casey Badger. So it yields 27% and they're only down by two converted tries. So half time and the Brisbane Broncos lead Parramatta by 16 points to four. Thank you very much, Emma. Parramatta team in a huddle. Their season going on the line. There's all sorts of equations. We will keep reminding you of them throughout the second half of what has to happen for teams to make the four. And also, as far as the minor premiership is concerned as well. This is Brisbane's first game at Suncorp Stadium, would you believe, in 1,295 days. And there is a the live ladder. So that for and against equation is getting closer and closer between the Dragons and Broncos. It's currently a 12 point lead for uh, Brisbane here. They need to win by 21 or more to overtake the Dragons and take out the minor premiership. Stay on. And we are underway for the second half. And don't forget to the Eels want to make sure that they can stay in this contest because they'll be looking at staying in the four. So the Roosters are cheering for the Broncos now. They were cheering for the Knights earlier. It's the Eels with first use of the football in the second half. Good crowd in attendance. Second run by Charrington in that set as well and she's made good metres with both of those. 
And he started and gets a pass away. And now they're into Brisbane territory through Pio, who plays it. it. was a good quick play the ball as well. Here's Samaima Taufa. Playing it on the last. Now Lungi goes to Matty Studden. Now this ball will bounce again here and away from the Broncos. Fullback Maddock who juggles and just three games possession. Stand, judge me. Well, this is a good start to the half here by the Eels. They were out pretty early after that half time. They must have come out on the two minute bell. Because they got ants in their pants and they are playing with a huge energy to, energy to start this half. They are, Rue. They were in formation before no, Brisbane no, came out. And then as Brisbane came out, we saw them in that huddle. So they were out very early, very quickly. Here's Brisbane now, coming out of their own ends. Hold on, all right, in the middle, wait! On their own 30 and just beyond now, the Broncos. Aiken puts a kick from inside the 40. Oh, that's a knock on. Oh, knock back, says Casey Batcher from Tiana Penitani. Great defensive set there by the Parramatta Eels. They'll end this set with an attacking kick, so that's exactly what they needed after half time to put some pressure on the Broncos. Shirley Malungi, good run. That was off the back of an equally impressive run from Rakaia Horn. Now Matty Studden goes to dummy half, goes to the skipper, Samima Taupa, who gets a pass away here to Pauly. Christine Pauly is on their own 20. She's... Oh, no, oh. she's dropped it. Are they going to challenge this? Yeah, they're going to challenge it. I need Robo. to see this on replay because I was looking coming at in it on the field, not on the screen. Parramatta so. are challenging the decision of a lost ball. Looks like it comes free and she sort of regathers it between her knees. An interesting replay, this one, because she was adamant. Yeah. Well, that's Caitlin Phillips. She's back on the field, so she's passed her HIA. Oh, no, oh, no she definitely dropped that one. She did drop it. No. Rising to her feet, Christine clearly loses possession of the ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. She only needed one look. She may have been asking for it to be a penalty, but there was no hands in there. It was just unfortunately came loose. And they'll lose their challenge here, the Eels. They're building nicely, too. They're all lined up to the oh, left out here with Penitani at the back of Matty Studden, so they need to ramp up here in defence, the Parramatta Eels, try and force an error, keep them inside their own half, and then apply a bit of pressure. Okay. Stay in properly there, Tiana. All right, beat it. In. Right. So Brisbane, inside their own territory. Amber Hall, plays on her outside, goes back towards the centre push. She's hard to handle Amber Hall. Matty Studden did well there. As did Samai Mataufa. Alicia Harden, good tackle. Paulie and Malungi there for the Eels. Brisbane in the first half, one of the features of their play was being able to just march downfield. This time, they're a tackle. Well, halfway through the set, and they're still on their own 30. Murdoch, nice offload. Millie Boyle. Now Taryn Aiken goes to Caitlin Phillips. Two tackles left in this set here for the Broncos. Amy Turner goes to dummy half. Aiken just had to reach for that one. Now Millie Boyle. Good no tackle. Emily, stand together, Lord! Oh, here, Kennedy. Wait! Simon again getting through a mountain of work and their effective tackles as well. Here's a kick into the sun. Navidi has lost that one. It's all knocked back, though, for the Eels. So no harm done in the end, but those kicks at this time of day. Treacherous for outside backs in that corner. Well, they sure are, Sultan, because she's looking directly into the sun here as we see another great run. So Abby Church has come in from the far left wing to take that run. And Sere no Taka Taka, she's on the push. Good tackle there from Ali Brigginshaw. No Taka Taka playing it. Here's Matty Studden, some room to move. Oh, they put it down, and Emily Bass has it here for the Broncos. Sherrington, I think it was, trying to cut back towards the ball. She needed to stay on the outside line there. She would have went through inside the winger. So now they've got the pressure back on themselves now, the Parramatta Eels. 
Boyle. Now Murdoch. Ali Johnson, one of the defenders there for the Eels. Big opportunity this for Brisbane to build on their 12-point lead. Aiken with a dummy. Almost splits them. Ali Johnson with a tackle that had to be made. Emily Curtin there as well. Here's Brown. They go down the short side. Back towards the centre. Boyle on the charge. Gets the legs pumping. Is brought down five away from the line. They've got numbers to the right here, Brisbane. They'll go that way. Kelly Brigginshaw knocks on. It was a poor pass. High oh, relief for the Eels, though. It was a big sigh of relief for the Eels because they were under the pump after that error on their own 30 metre line heading out. Just, oh, you can just see the pass just dips away towards as it gets towards Ali. Knock on, so here the Eels get the ball. Midfield scrum here should give them a little bit of space. Now, rugby league is one of the most culturally diverse sports in Australia and New Zealand. Multicultural right. round is the way each of us have a cultural heritage worth celebrating. Wherever you're from, whenever you arrive, we're stronger together. Stand up! Great round. Multicultural round. Avidi playing it. Now the Eels need to try to make something happen here. We've got plenty of time. Here's Pauly. Good off the bench. Good leg drive before tackle by Talisha Harden and Roxy Murdoch. Samima Taufa passing before the line. Well read by Amber Hall. Great read by Amber Hall. I mean, we talk about how good she is with ball in hand, but she is devastating in defence. Stutton skewed that kick. Aziza Mosby has it for Brisbane and then. She smashed, but on her own 40 in Brisbane. JT, you mentioned it, just starting to win that field position there. again. They had most of it going their way in the first half, and now they're starting to just win those battles again. Yeah, I think Matty Studden was trying for a 40-30 there, miscued it, and that's an error by the Broncos. Exactly what the Parramatta Eels wanted. They're still in the game here, the Eels. Only 12 points behind, two converted tries. I just need to get a repeat set on the back of this scrum. Camp down this end of the field right, and apply some down. pressure to the Broncos. Because they've looked good when they've had the ball, although they've only had 30% of the possession. Right. So they're not doing themselves any favours. Yeah, I agree with you. I think they just need to set up in this half, really start building pressure on the Broncos. Because when they do that, oh, that's a great note. Toka Toka comes up with a great bend there on Lauren Brown. Wait, all the way, Tyron. Go. She's a competitor. Sede Naitaka Toka. Here's Kennedy Cherrington. 30 metres away from the line. The Eels trailing by two converted tries. Can they get one back here? Mal Lungi goes to Taufa. Now Curtin to Ellie Johnston on the charge. That's a good run inside the Broncos. Here they go. Short side. Wait, Amber. Go, They do go down the short side through Curtin. She gets a, a pass away, and now they're. Nine metres away from the line. Penatani will play it. Here's Pauly. Back towards the post. Last play. Big numbers to the left of the Eels. If they elect to go that way. Matty Studden through the hands. Penatani throws it forward. It's the right play by the Parramatta Eels. They had them shot to pieces. But the winger came in and shut it down on Penatani. Great tackle by Emily Bass. Shut the play down. Yeah, she had to, didn't she? Because they had that numbers out there. She had to get up in her face to stop her from offloading because that's twice now the Eels have been able to outstrip the Broncos for numbers on their edges, but just unable to get the ball there quickly. Wait, Shirley. Shirley, have a look. Shirley. Chelsea Renaduzzi gets out of her own 20. Four Eels plays in there, bring down Together, the Broncos buddy. prop. Oh. Oh. Brown is Amber Hall. New Shirley! Christian Melly. Uh, Hall will play it. Boyle. Move. Tries to put a fend on Pauly, but did well, did Christine Pauly. 
a good run from Talisha Harden into Parramatta territory. Harden plays it. Now Aiken puts it high. Navidi loses it. And there'll be a double knock on here. But Brisbane will get the football for a scrum feed. Well, she must have heard the footsteps of Hajija Mosby and Amy Turner just bearing down on her. She's been so good under the high ball today, and that was a lovely kick from Aiken. It didn't have a hard spin on it. It was just lightly floating and spinning end on end. You know, the sun has gone behind the clouds here, but there's still a little bit of that shimmer. So it's, if you get your eyes off it, you can lose it in the, in the clouds. But, oh, what a shame for the Eels, but the Broncos now with a midfield scrum 10 metres out. Anything can happen here because they've got strike power left and right. Get your head in. Get your head in, look. Right, They're stacking the right side, but it's a bit of a trick play because they go to Matty. Down to the left. Long pass. Hajija Mosby's in. Try. What a try of a scrum. And Hajija Mosby set one up in the first half, scores one in the second. I think that's her fourth consecutive try, too. In the last four weeks, she can't find the try line, this young girl. On the Harvey Norman replay, the 14 jumps out to the left and catches them sleeping and throws a great ball over the head for Mosby to score in the corner. But it was all the traffic that went the open side that fooled the Parramatta Eels. There is Mosby in the corner. Great try, great scrum. I love a scrum play, I really do. And this was beautiful because two of your main playmakers who you want to be getting the ball in their hands, in this field position, swing around to the right. And that creates that space for Hayley Maddock to pick it up and scoot out to the left. And then it's just a three on one. It was a beautiful pass at the end of it too to hit Hajija Mosby right on the chest. And Bucky the Bronco, didn't he like that? He's trenting up and down the sideline, side he loved it. Ben Eichen liking it too, delivering messages on the touchline and speaking from the touchline, that conversion oh, is successful from the touchline. What a kick that was. And coming up, Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy, it's the Broncos and the Cowboys. Looking forward to the rivalry continuing here at Suncorp Stadium. I actually did see Ben Eichen earlier, just before this game come out. And thought, oh, yeah, good. He's down here with the women. He's down there passing messages. He's into it. In the thick of it. I think I might have seen the shots have been training too against the yeah. women's side. Oh, there. Hey. So, I hope they dushed him up. <laughs> Is the shots of the Cowboys arriving? <laughs> we saw Broncos in hair rooms as well. He's the GM, I think, so they <laughs> best leave him alone. He signs a check, I think. <laughs> There from Chelsea Lenarduzzi. So 22 points to four. 18 point margin. Here's Caitlin Phillips. 10 short of halfway here for Brisbane. Taryn Aiken, they go down a short side. Amy Turner back towards the centre of the ground. Look out, here they come, through the hands they go, the Broncos through Millie Boyle, who's oh, going to be tackled. Taufer, what a tackle. Here's the live ladder, Brisbane, only, what is it now, four points away, or two oh, points two, away. Two points. From levelling with the Dragons, the minor premiership up for grabs, and as it stands now, the Eels are outside the finals. Taryn Aiken puts in a kick, it's not a bad one, as Asia Mosby coming out after it gets their scores. No. Asia Mosby. in two minutes for the flying Broncos winger. Yeah, okay, but my starting position is going to be a try. All right, touch, six more. Try awarded. Well, there you go. We heard Casey Badger talking about she thought that the first knock on was the Eels and then it was play on and a try, so that'll get checked out. But we're going to watch this up close and personal in the Harvey Norman replay. It was the kick. Again, Taryn Aiken has a beautiful kick on it. She follows through so nicely. She pushes up on the inside, and it's that bounce, that last little kick up at the end there. Bounces over the top of Novindi. And Hajija Mosby, she was in the right spot. That's two tries for her now. She's such an athlete. She's such a competitor, too. She pushes up. And then the put down was easy as you like, wasn't it, JT? It certainly was. It was great work by 
Taryn Aiken, when she gets the ball, she shows to her outside, which puts Ellie Johnson up, and that puts the kick through inside her left leg. So great skills here by Sia Show to the outside, and then she kicks it on the outside of her right foot and gets a great bounce from Mosby to score her second for the day. Here it is, boom. That's what you want from your halves. Show to the outside, bring the outside defenders up. And then you have that passage there to be able to kick through the line. Uh, We're still going to have a further, Bravo. further look at this one. Try is under review. We're just um, looking for a knock Mosby. on from Brisbane. Nothing really stood out to me Shoot when we were watching on that on replay guys. before. But kick chases on side on the left. Get this one. She goes to grab it. Tighter, yeah. She's facing her try line. Is knocked back by Parramatta, restarting the tackle count. Here. There it is. Oh, there is Ooh. a touch there from Hazisha Mosby, but was it but backwards? She's facing backwards. Her, she's facing, facing her, her line. Try yep. line. That first one was backwards. And knocked on by the Broncos. Oh, oh, okay. Big call. Brisbane the three game the possession. Game. We have a decision. Okay. Was her foot in was her foot over the try line or not when she knocks it on? Okay, so in the field. Well that's an interesting one, isn't it, JT? Because the previous play they're, they're saying that Novindi uh, didn't knock it on, but it went no backwards. Tries. But then uh, Hajiza Mosby, when it's a very strong. similar drop knock position on within the, the field. ball. Says that one's not on, and she was facing line. her own try line, and Naivindi wasn't. 20 yeah, that's right. As we see on the replay here, on the goal just line, there, she's facing her own try line, but it looks like she's tapped it forward, dragged it forward. Dragged it forward. Yeah. Now it's a 20 metre restart, so the Parramatta Eels will have seven tackles. This is where they need to get down the other end, set up camp, try and get a repeat set, come away with some points, get themselves back in the game. So if that try was awarded, it would have put Brisbane in the minor premiership position. As it is, they sit in second place still in Parramatta. They need to get another try back here to get back into the finals. So it's all a play for still for the Eels. The scoreboard is one thing and winning the game is one thing, but for and against is huge for Parramatta. Apparently they sit in fifth place. So far is a good set. Halfway through it now, and they're 10 metres into Brisbane Territory. That previous one was a great scheming run for Maynard. Made a good 20 metres with that. Here's Maynard, the dummy half. Samaima Taufa gets a pass away here to Philomena Hanisi. Now Maynard goes here to Emily Curtin, who looked the pass, then puts a kick in, and Hayley Maddox got it, escapes the first chaser. Ellie Johnson and Emily Curtin there making a tackle, along with Navidi. On Hayley Maddox. How yeah, relaxed was she? Just waiting for the ball to bounce up as cool and calm as you like. Now the Parramatta Eels, they certainly need to have a bit of bite in their defence now and really come off the line and try and force an error. They've just got outside their own 10 here, Brisbane. Millie Boyle with a good charge. Gets it up to the 20. That was a good run. Here's that take you were just talking about with Maddox. She was. And then a beautiful little right foot step to wrong foot the defence. But this defence from the Eels, this is good stuff. This is exactly what they need at this part of the field. Under 20 minutes remaining. Great Emma Hall, contact. you heard that. <laughs> Inside the 40, that oh. kick, looking for a 40-20 or a 40-30, but it's straightened up. Tiana Penatani has it here for the Eels. Good tackle down low, Ali Brigginshaw leading the chase for Brisbane. Lauren Brown was there. Here's Rekaya Horn for Parramatta. Here's Navidi, good footwork. Outside their own 30 now, Parramatta. Wait, Lauren, wait. That's a good run. Abby Church up to the halfway line and a quick play the ball. The markers weren't ready for it. So now they can play a bit of footy here, Parramatta. Maddie Studden lost her footy as she tried to get, tried to get away from Millie Boyle. Here's the last. 
Kurt. Keep turning the middle. Kick straight down the throat there of Haley Maddock. Maddock will be tackled. This is better from the Eels, isn't it, JT? They're actually starting to force a bit of pressure through their defence. They end their set with quite a good kick, and now defensively they can really start to turn the heat up on the Broncos. Well, that's what you want. They made a lot of metres just by running through the middle of the field there with their speedy outside backs. And um, then they got a good kick away as well, so now they need to apply a bit of pressure with their defence, making sure that when they get the ball back, they still attack through the middle. Go three. Talisha Harden. Wrapped up there Stand by Philomena Hanisi. Stand, look for me. Wait, Nita. Go. Five short of halfway. Brigginshaw. Amber Hall. Tries to wind up. Gets an offload away. Lavinia Gould. Back here to Lauren Brown. Now to Lisa Harden. Finds Taryn Aiken. Beautiful pass there to Caitlin Phillips in traffic. The Eels defence didn't panic. Last tackle, Emily. Square. White. Now Aiken puts in a kick. Hagelin, give ten. Benatani lets it bounce. And then it's crunched by Ali Brigginshaw. Good, Good chase again by Brigginshaw and Brown. They're just working as that duo when the kick comes down. Levinia, for the Eels. The way the Eels have been actually winning the field position is not allowing the Broncos to get the arms free for the offload. They want to get back to that, but no toka toka. She's just going to go straight through the middle. Today night, Toka Toka playing the ball. Nita Maynard to dummy half. I think Maynard's probably the most threatening for the Eels. She needs to get out of dummy half and get behind the ruck. Matty Studden into the line, then passing. Well read again, though, by the Broncos defence. No, Toka Toka will play it. P.O. goes here to Studden. Kicks a couple of bounces there to Hayley Maddock. Maddock will be wrapped up in their own 30. It's a nice kick return. That's what you want from your fullback. As soon as you get the ball, it's just chew up as many metres as you can. Well, let's go down the sideline. Emma Lawrence with an injury update. Emma? We saw in the first half, Bo Betty Welsh went down with a knee injury. She was in so much pain straight away, devastated on the sideline. It's Fizz. She's done her ACL. They'll have to get scans tomorrow to confirm, but that is a massive blow for the Eels, even if they do make finals next week. And then, of course, a blow for the Blues, which uh, I'm sure Ruan is also devastated to. Yep. I am also because Bo has been in such good form in this NRLW competition. And she deserves to be playing really great footy because she's such a superstar. And yeah, I know Kylie Hilda will be really, really devastated as well for her. We'll touch base and make sure she's all right up. Amber Hall. It's a pass away. Lavinia Gould, quick hands. Lauren Brown goes here to Ellie Brigginshaw. Brigginshaw with a dummy setting sail for the line. Try by Ali Brigginshaw. She gets the offload, then she has the ball in two hands, and that's what you want to do when you're attacking the line. She's got players inside and out on the Harvey Norman replay. See Amber Hall truck it up. She gets a late offload. That's what you want. You want your speedy people around the ball. Ball in two hands. Boom off the left. A show and go, and then puts the foot down and gets around Panatani. A great captain's try. It was a great reach at the end too, wasn't it, JT? She got tackled around the bootlaces, but this left foot step, which she is known for, puts the puts the accelerator on, scoots through the gap, and look at her. She knows that she needs to get on her skates because Penatani has a ton of pace, reaches out for that. And you know what I loved about that as well? There are so many Broncos fans in here watching that, and everybody went up and cheered for her. What a great try by the captain. It certainly was. And when you hold the ball in two hands, just keeps the defense guessing. I think it was Charrington who was coming across when yep, she gets the was. ball, because Ali's got the ball in two hands here. She shows a slight dummy to her right, which keeps Sherrington off her there, and then she goes straight through and gets a great try. Lauren Brown, what a kick. 28 to four.
Well, Brisbane out to a 28 4 lead. And what that does is puts them back in the minor premiership position. Don't forget, Stay too, coming up, Chemist Warehouse, Sunday footy. The Broncos against the Cowboys in the NRL. Now here is the live ladder, and Brisbane are in first place as it stands. And the semi finals will be played next Sunday afternoon, and a double header at Leichhardt Oval will be there. Bringing you all the action of the NRLW semi finals next Sunday. It'll be a good day of footy. If the score stays the same here, it'll be Broncos v Roosters and Dragons v Titans next week. There's a mistake. So Parramatta, if they want to get back into the finals, basically need two converted tries in the last 13 minutes. Well, Mima spoke about this pre-game as well. She said that their destiny is in their own hands. So they need to take this on board. They need to be the ones out there to rip in, set up defensively, set up camp down in the Broncos half and force some pressure on them. At the moment, like earlier in the game, discipline was what was letting them down. But then the Broncos have just got a really good roll on. They started the half well, the Eels. Let's get back to that energy they brought straight out of halftime. Time's on. Break! Uh, here go the Eels through Saturday night, Taka Toka. They need two converted tries to get themselves back in the NRLW top four. And if they do that, it'll send the Dragons back up to the minor premiership. So plenty still riding on the season in this last 12 and a half minutes. And the Eels on the front foot now through Shirley Malungi, 11 metres away from the line. So Mima Taufa goes to dummy half. Here's Nina Maynard, drifting, now passing. Christian Pio, Sede, Naitoka Toka. He wrapped up. Emily Bass doing well. Now Lungi on the bounce. Burton puts in a kick. It's for Navidi out there. Couldn't get a play on it. Abby Church has it. It's play on. No, it's not play on. It's knocked on by the Eels and a turnover. Not the greatest of sets there by the Parramatta Eels. They came out to the left-hand side that they weren't ready. Matty Studden was on the right-hand side. So it was Emily Curtin was on the right-hand side looking for the ball with Penatani. It needed to go to the right if they had any chance to score. Stand together. And square. For the Broncos. Inside their own 20, here's Lavinia Goulds. Kennedy, move! It's up eight or nine metres for Brisbane. Brown to dummy half. Now it's with Aiken, goes to Talisha Harden. Samima Taufa and Philomena Hanisi making the tackle there for Parramatta. Now Ali Brigginshaw, they've got numbers here at Brisbane, and Brigginshaw has seen it. Here's Sinead Sasolka. The Eels scrambled well. Oh. Well, actually, in a turn for the Eels, Maddie Stubbins off the field. She has a big bag of ice on that right foot, it looks like. So they've been missing a little bit of their attacking power out there as Tiana Penatani picks up that ball beautifully. And beats the initial chases and gets up close to the 20. Back yourself. Abby oh. Church. Right foot and they got through. Defensive read in the end there from Taryn Aiken. So there is Matty Studden. Look for me, White. Into Broncos territory go the Eels. Two tackles left in this set. Repeating, they need two converted tries to get themselves back in the top four. And we've got 10 minutes remaining. Curtin. Puts it high. It's about to bounce. Yeah, Maddox let it bounce and makes a play at it and will stay in the field of play. Well, here's a chance for Parramatta to really aim up in defence. Wait. Maddox plays it. Amy Turner hit as soon as she got the football. Look for me here. Ho! Quiet three metres away from her own line. Bass. Tackled on her own 10. Hold. Hold it, 
Brisbane need to get out of their own ends. I know there's still nine minutes to go, Salty, but what a performance from the Broncos so far this afternoon. They went back to everything that was working for them at the start of the season, running, running hard through the middle, offloads, playing off the back of that broken play. They really turned it on this today. Kicking from inside their own 30. I'll tell you what, this will go... Oh, no, it took a, a wrong turn. Looked like it was heading to be a 40-30. Great footwork. She's so athletic, Penitani. In open space or broken play like that, she's devastating. She needs to find a way to get more involved in the game here. Right. Her or Nita Maynard, probably the two that are... Oh, as they drop the ball, that's not what they wanted. The hands go on the haunches for the Parramatta Eels. Well, when you look at the stats here, 35% possession so far, and you have a few errors like that, or you have a few discipline issues, it really does drain a lot more of the energy out of you, doesn't it, Jason? It certainly does, and I'll tell you why it's drained the energy out of them, because they've done 124 more tackles than the Broncos. Wow. 161 tackles from the Broncos and 285 from the Parramatta Eels. But incredibly, only missed 15 of those, <laughs> so as opposed working. to the Broncos 25. They're working hard for each other, but they just keep putting each other under the pump. Aiken gets away from some defenders. Let's try to Ferguson getting a pass away. That's here playing it. Here's Brigginshaw going to Amber Hall again. How do you stop Amber Hall? Honestly. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Ferguson goes to Aiken. Aiken with a big dummy. Goes straight through. Does she know? Good tackle from behind. Kennedy Charrington. But Parramatta backpedalling here. Brown has Brisbane on the front foot. Lavinia Gould showing, showing. Will she go? She does. There was... Chance for an intercept, but it's been put right. down. We're going to have a scrum. That was. Got a hand to the ball. The Jeez, that would have been an exciting um, Ali, foot race if she caught that mm. because she does have some wheels on her. She sure does. She's speedy as. What about this show and go oh. from Curtin? Then puts the right arm fend out. Charrington just coming across in cover. And here it is. Oh, it was right there for her. She knew it too. Couldn't get it to stick. Running repairs. I was, I was just about to say, there's a fair few running repairs mm. happening out there. A couple to the Eels players. I saw Tiana Penetani getting a little bit of treatment earlier. Who's that down? Is that Charrington that's down? Oh, she's in a fair bit of pain. So we'll have a look at this. Watch that. It might have been when her right knee mm, landed, the, maybe. Mm. Here it goes and it hits the ground. Oh, oh. The... Well, she's limping off foot. the field. I think you can see her foot get yeah. jammed what? up underneath her. Well, the trainer was stretching right, it like she had in. a calf issue. So she comes from the field and running on is Tamaya Kelly Signs in jersey number four. You can see her joining the scrum here. Brisbane to feed the scrum. You think if they score here, Brisbane, that they'll definitely sure lock properly. away the minor premiership with under seven minutes remaining. Ailey Maddock to feed the scrum. Lauren Brown takes it out the back. Goes straight back to Maddock. Now Aiken dummying. She's dangerous. Tackled a couple of metres away from the line. Brown now to dummy half. Here's an opportunity for his sets here. Thought about an off-way to Brown, but hung on to the ball. Brown. Goes here. Oh, hard running in the hall. If you don't mind, scores a try. That'll seal the win for Brisbane. Seal their minor premiership. And Brisbane on track now for a fourth NRLW title. That was devastating from Amber Hall. Well, we've spoken about this at length, just how devastating she has been with the ball in hand. We're going to see this on the Harvey Norman replay. How fast she, and hard she hit that line. You would have imagined that she's run from 20 metres out, but she got that head of steam up just from eight or nine metre run up. She is so good. Ball in hand, on the other side of the ball defensively. She could pass. 
She's got everything, and she, I'm calling it early, she's my yeah. player of the game. Oh, she's been outstanding this afternoon, and it was great work by Lauren Brown, who gets out at dummy half. She has the ball in two hands. Because she's got the ball in two hands, the Parramatta Eels do not get off their line to try and force her to play. And Amber Hall, when you're coming that fast and hard towards the trial line, she's going to be very hard to stop. Brown from just off centre makes no mistake. So Brisbane, they've got the minor premiership all wrapped up now and they've sealed the fate for Parramatta as well. 34 points to four. Coming up, Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy. Big crowd in attendance here at Suncorp Stadium. This Broncos be, be Cowboys. And you know what? I think somebody sitting in this commentary box was winding up the Cowboys earlier. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big Jace Sorry. Tamalolo oh, interviewed him earlier. Wait for the whistle, wait for the whistle. So I tried to wind Stay the big fellow up and told him that Payne Haas is the number one front rower in the game and he's coming after you. <laughs> he replied with, we'll see about that. And so. walked off on you too, <laughs> yeah. I heard. Stand up! See that when you were playing, JT? Just go to rev up your forwards a bit? So you see what so-and-so is saying about you. Oh, mate, as if you always knew what you were going to get from Matty Scott, but Jason Tucker, I know. <laughs> just had to just light the fire in him, so it would wind him up all the time. Millie Boyle. We well, want to talk about premier front rowers. That one right there, number eight, Millie Boyle. She is a weapon, Millie. Very rarely see her get it put on her back when she's carrying the ball. She's got an incredible motor on her as well. Here she is again. Second carry in three tackles. <laughs> Last one here for Brisbane. Ferguson, Brigginshaw. Just dinks it over the top. Rakea Horn lets it bounce. Sasolka's got it. Can't get the arm free. It'll be a turnover. The Mai Toka Toka wrapped her up beautifully there because the bounce was all in favour of the Broncos. And Sasolka just couldn't quite get the arm free because Amber Hall was looming up on her inside. It's great vision by Ali Brigginshaw. She put that kick just between the, the winger and the centre there. And they get the right bounce. So. Uh, Gee, she's a great player, that Ali Brigginshaw. Time off. Tackle two. Well, there's another injury for the Eels. You can bring it in. Is it the curtain? walking wounded. No. Abby Church. Uh, hey, Nita, you can grab the board, just bring it in, five. Abby Church, that's down there. I'm not sure if she's having issues with a cramp or... Watch this on replay. She scoots out. innocuous that tackle mm. but hopefully she's all right yeah, she's been get, good for the years getting treated in back play play continues three and a half minutes remaining here's ellie johnston Nine metres into Brisbane Territory. Here's the last tackle for the Eels. Sedate, Nate Toka Toka goes here to Emily Curtin. Ailey Maddock takes it. Looking for a hole there that's not. There, closed. But looking forward to Chemist Warehouse Sunday footy. Broncos up against the Cowboys. And one of the real focal points for the Broncos in the early rounds has been that their new recruit, Kurt Capewell, who is with our own Darren Lockyer. Well, Kurt, at Penrith, you would have experienced a local derby with Parramatta. Uh, this, this week, you know, first time as a Bronco up against a Cowboy. What's the experience been like? Yeah, it's been a good week leading into it. Obviously, we've had a good week of training. Um, it's good that it's um, heritage round as well. You know, it's, it's a pretty long uh, local derby, this one. So, looking forward to it. And the, the combinations with your teammates around you, how's that going? Yeah, it's going really good. It's awesome to have Adam back. Um, he's had a, you know, a couple of good weeks of training with the full team now, so should hopefully see some improvement. Well, mate, enjoy your Sunday afternoon footy. Thank you. Thanks, Kurt Capel and Darren Lockyer. Here's Amber Hall, Shanaysa Solka, Emily Bass now. And that was a, a strip that we play on here. So six more here for Brisbane. After the ball came out with a one-on-one -on -one strip and Amber Hall was first to pounce on it. Didn't I tell you she could do everything, Salty? So can.
Uh, Chelsea Lenarduzzi playing it eventually. Here's Tanisa Solka. Tanisa Solka puts on a fend and will score another Broncos try. They're careering away with this one. They certainly are. Again, Ali Brigginshaw down the right-hand side here. Just gives early ball. It's a Solka does all the rest. Watch Ali, ready? Comes off her left. Bang. Straight to Solka off her left foot. Gets on the outside of her defender. And boom, as you can see on the Harvey Norman replay. This will show it perfectly. The front on. Comes off the left foot. That holes. Not a... Not a the the yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, it's great work there by Sasolka. Now you're right there, JT. And no, no, Toka Toka is not usually a centre. So it's really hard defensively, if you're not a centre, to actually defend in that position. It's a really difficult spot on the field. But I think as soon as Sasolka went over there, there's about, what, 15,000 people here? They all clapped and applauded that one, appreciated what skill has been on display here this afternoon. And obviously, that hard-running Amber Hall held up the inside defence as well. And Shizalka, uh, she's a talent, Shizalka. Sinead Shizalka with the try. And here's Ali Brigginshaw. Strikes it and goes across the face. No goal. So 38 points to four. And the siren will sound. So full time in the Brisbane Broncos. So they're NRLW minor premiers for a fourth consecutive season. Brisbane 38 have defeated Parramatta 4.